Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a haul and I know, I know, I told you guys in my last like major epic high-end haul that I was done hauling high-end makeup and that I was on a no-buy. But every year, twice a year, Sephora has their huge VIB sale which means that you get 15% off your entire purchase or like 15% off each item or whatever. And if you go to Sephora often, you know that they never ever have sales, like ever. So when Sephora gives you 15% off, you take advantage of it. By the time I upload this video, I think the sale will be over already. I'm not exactly sure. I just got my box in the mail. I ordered everything online. I just got everything in the mail and I wasn't gonna film this video till tomorrow because it's pretty late already, but I was like, no, I wanna upload this tomorrow. So, yes, let's get started because I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys and these videos are always 55 minutes long. I got a brand new Makeup Forever Face and Body Foundation. I already have this foundation. It's one of my favorite foundations in the entire world, but I decided to get it in the shade 20. I have 32. Um, but I could only wear that when I'm self-tanning. And since I'm not self-tanning at the moment, I still want to wear this foundation when I'm not so tan. So I got it in the shade 20, which I'm wearing it on my face right now. And I love it. I've talked about it before. It's sheer coverage, but I feel like it leaves a flawless finish to the skin. It's one of my favorites. I'm just going to show you the other Makeup Forever product I picked up. I got the, I got an Aqua Rouge and I have like five of these Aqua Rouge things and I love them. They're like liquid lipsticks but they're, oh, they're like double ended. One side is a gloss and one side is like the liquid lipstick matte formula. I never really wear the gloss on top but a lot of people love the gloss. But I got it in this color, this is in the shade 1 because it reminded me of like, those cool tone beigey purple nudes like cashmere from Lime Crime or whatever. That kind of color and I thought it was really pretty and I figured that I would get a lot of use out of this one. So I picked it up. It's super long wearing. I love these. Another face product I got was the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I felt like I needed to buy this because I feel like it screams Kathleen, honestly. It's a tinted hydrating gel cream, SPF 30. This is essentially a tinted moisturizer, but it is oil-free, silicone-free, paraben-free, fragrance-free. It's good for sensitive skin. Um, it's a non-chemical SPF. It is also hyperallergenic, so it shouldn't break me out. I got mine in the shade Buttercream. And I just wanted something for like day-to-day -day when I don't really want to wear makeup, but I just want to even out my skin tone a bit. I have a feeling I'm really going to like this. Some people don't, but I've heard really good things so far. I'm hoping I like this because I have high hopes for this, honestly. So I got a red beauty blender, and I don't know why because I already have my backup, my backup beauty blender, but listen, red is my favorite color of all time, and when I saw that they had a red beauty blender, I couldn't control myself, and I was like, I, I need a red beauty blender, I just need one, it's red, and yeah, I took advantage of the sale, and I picked up another little backup, so yeah, I'm excited to use that because I love me some red, red beauty blender. So I've been hearing a lot of people talk about these Sephora matte like liquid lipsticks and I know a lot of people like the short one, like the luster matte ones, I think that's what they're called. But then I've heard a lot of people talk about these as well. So I decided to go with these. I picked up two of them. These are the Rouge, oh no wait, that's French. I can't read that. Is that French? It's a, they're cream lip stains basically. Cream lip stains. And I got more of a me shade and then like a springy shade. So this one is called peach tart and it's pretty much just like a peachy color. I really really have high hopes for this because since it is like peachy and vibrant I hope it doesn't give me that weird like crustiness on the inside of my mouth. I really hope it doesn't do that. And then I got this one in the shade Mandarin Muse and this is like a red orange. I love do you guys know how many like lip colors I have like in this shade, like the red orange shade? I don't know. They're my favorite, but I wanted to try these Sephora ones because they are cheaper. Oh, it smells really good. They don't smell bad at all. And they are cheaper alternatives to like Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about some high-end makeup that the sale forced me to buy that if I wasn't under the influence of this 15% off, I probably wouldn't have bought. Bought. I got two Hourglass products, and the only Hourglass product I have is the Ambient Lighting Palette, and I also have the Hourglass Primer, like their regular primer that's like an arm and a leg. It's pretty ridiculous. 
So when I saw this, guys, I freaked out because everyone raves about that um, primer from Hourglass. And I feel like sometimes my skin is not... I feel like my skin is a little bit too dry for that primer. I like it, but sometimes I need a lot more hydration than that offers. I decided to pick up the smaller version. This was like $22 and it's like small, but the full size was like 50 bucks. So I was like, let me give it a chance first before I buy the full size. But it is a primer serum, hydrating and anti-aging. When I put this on the back of my hand at Sephora, like something like inside of me just exploded and I got like all tingly and I was like, oh my God, because it literally feels like an oil and a serum like in one. I don't know. It felt like a dry girl's dream, like a dry faced dream, honestly. It has that serum-y texture that I cannot explain that I'm so excited to use this on my face. I haven't used it on my face yet, but do you see that glow? Do you see that glow? And I only put very little. This feels amazing. The other Hourglass product I got was the Ambient Lighting Powder. <laughs> Forgot the name almost. In the shade Luminous Light, this is just like a very, very soft highlight. This is the highlight I'm wearing on my entire face. I literally put this everywhere. I was like, because it's very, very subtle, very, very sheer. I can't explain the texture of these powders. To me, you get what you pay for it with this because these are incredibly expensive. I think they're like 40 bucks for one powder. But the formula, the texture, the way it feels, it's not like, it's not out there at all. It's subtle. Um, I would recommend this for like a bride on her wedding day if you want a beautiful highlight and I freaking love it. It's like, I put a lot and it's I love it. Okay, so more expensive stuff that maybe I shouldn't have bought. More expensive brands. So I have never purchased anything from these two brands before because that's expensive and yeah. So I got a Marc Jacobs lipstick. The most I've ever paid for a lipstick were the NARS Audacious lipsticks. They're like my favorite. They're like sitting right there. I freaking love them. They're amazing. But I've heard so many people rave about these new Marc Jacobs lipsticks. These are the New Nudes Sheer Lip Gels. And I saved a couple dollars with the sale. I really love the packaging. Some people hate it, but I think it's so cute. It's magnetic. I, I'm really, I'm all for it. I like it. And I got mine in the shade Strange Magic. And a lot of people are going to be like, because this color is like, baby pink and super light like a light baby pink but mrs lola lynn talks about it a lot and she really loves this lipstick so i'm gonna give it a go i purchased it i probably use it with like a darker um nude lip liner underneath but i actually like those really light baby pinks i think they're pretty in the summer and in the springtime so i got that in strange magic and then i thought this was a huge gimmick like when i heard that these things came out i was like oh they cannot think of anything else like i remember sitting at home and thinking like why would anybody purchase that for that much money it's ridiculous but okay so this is actually a product that i purchased in person during the weekend. I walked into Sephora on Sunday and my lips felt like they were about to fall off. I don't know why, but my lips were so incredibly chapped that like last weekend. I guess because I was traveling, I don't know. But it, they were so bad. So then I walked up to the YSL section just to window shop because I never buy YSL products. But I was just looking at all the beautiful gold packaging and then I saw these Volupte Tint in Oils and I was like, why do people spend 30 bucks on that? That's so stupid. I think they're like 30 bucks. But then um, I tried one on my lips and then I just started walking around the store and immediately my lips felt so amazing, so moisturized, so hydrated. They're literally oils. It's like an oil for your lip, but it has like a tint. I got mine in the shade Peach Me Love and I love this and I'm ashamed to love it. It's really just... A luxurious oil that has a tint that you put on your mouth and your lips feel so so hydrated and hydrated in a really good way not like a weird dry chapstick like an oil like it just soaks into your lips and it also gives a beautiful color um, on top of that it's like a very sheer color like a nice light wash I'm gonna throw this in my purse because honestly I can't think of a better place that it will be I just think it's perfect for those days it moisturizes your lips and then it gives just like a little bit of color like on those days where you're not really wearing that much makeup I oh, so good. this next purchase was a hype I fell into you know like when you go into Sephora and you're like oh my god like a thousand youtubers talk about that let me buy it 
that is why I bought this. I bought the Benefit Roller Lash. And this is typically not the kind of mascara I would ever buy because one, I like volumizing mascaras and I hear this is lengthening. And two, I like the fiber bristles and this is like rubber. But if one more person talks about this, I swear, I'm gonna lose it. Everyone is talking about this, talking about how it's the best mascara ever. Oh, it's so good. So I purchased it and if I don't like it, I'm coming after every single YouTuber who said it was good. I'm coming after all of them. I'm talking to you, Desi. You're the reason I bought it. I've heard really good things about the Cinema Secrets makeup brush cleaner. So I got the small size to see if I like it. It's pretty much you just clean your brush. It's like spot cleaning. You just clean your brush and then immediately it's dry. Like you spray your brush, you wipe it down, and then your brush is like immediately dry. This is great. Um, like in between washes. I think it's a really good idea, a really good concept, especially when you're using like black eyeshadow and you don't want your eye brush to like stay stained, to just like go in and spray this and clean your brushes fast. Urban Decay came out with new moon dust eyeshadows not that long ago, and I have Solstice, because as soon as I saw Solstice, I was like, that baby, I was gonna say that biatch is mine. Like it's beautiful. If you don't have Solstice, get it, it's so good. Um, so then I picked up this one because this one had really good like ratings. A lot of people really liked it. It's Diamond Dog and it's pretty much just like a brown. This one's not new though. They've had this one for a while. Um, this It's just like a brown with like little glitters all over it. This is what it looks like. So you can see it's like a brown, but then you see like it has like a silver glitteriness. So it's really cool that it's brown, but the glitters are silvery. I don't know. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this. Okay, so I have three more things. I'm sorry this video is so long, and I'm really gonna try my best to cut down my videos from now on. <laughs> I talk too much. I got C's in conduct all through elementary school because I talked too much. So this next purchase was such an, not an impulse buy, I was actually thinking about it for a really long time, but it was such a splurge for me. But anyone who knows me knows that I hate paying more than $10 for nail polish. I just hate it. Like Formula X nail polishes are my favorite, but they're expensive and I don't like paying 10 bucks for nail polish when I can get OPI, like with my mom's cosmetology license for like four bucks. So I hate spending a lot on nail polish. I freaking hate it. I have two Deborah Lipman nail polishes, which are like 20 bucks each that I got because I wanted them so bad and I got them for my birthday. But when I first saw this, I was like, wow, that's really beautiful, but I'm not paying that much. But then I heard so many people say amazing things that I was like, do I need it? And it is the Nails Ink Duo by Victoria Beckham, which Victoria Beckham is like a goddess to me. Like, she's so like... And I love that. Like, yeah, you're a fierce little mama. I really love Victoria Beckham. I mean, who doesn't like... Who doesn't... The Spice Girls, hello. And Nails Inc. is a great brand sell, sold at Sephora. It's expensive, so I don't really buy it. But it's a really great band, brand. And this is what the kit, or the little duo comes in. It's two nail polishes by Victoria Beckham. And the reason why, honestly, why I picked it up is because these are both nail polishes that I wear constantly. Like the colors, you get like an orangey red, which you guys know is my favorite kind of red. My favorite kind of orange. Like an orangey scarlet red and then a beautiful nude color right here. So this one is in the shade Judo Red. It's beautiful. So up my alley. And then this one, which is the one that everyone was raving about. Everyone said it was so amazing, so perfect, and it's bamboo white. And you can see the color on the side. And guys, this is what I have on my nails right now. And it is the nicest nude I've ever put on my nails. Um, it's like a pinky nude. This is a like literally a bride's dream in a bottle, like on their wedding day. The perfect bridal nail polish. I love the wand, it's like a thicker wand, so there was no streakiness happening. And you guys know with nail colors, like this color, sometimes it could be streaky, sometimes you need more than two coats. No, this was the best nude formula I have ever seen in my life well worth it such a beautiful color two coats no streakiness love it i haven't um worn this one yet and i'm really really excited this was like 40 bucks okay for two freaky nail polishes the last two products i got were also influenced by youtubers as most of my purchases are and i got this pure vanilla the healthy body butter like from, from the brand La Vanilla, which I've heard really good things about La Vanilla, which I, I've just never tried anything. And Amelia Liana recently like hauled this in a video. And she was saying a story on how Essie Button had like, Este from the channel Essie Button, 
she was like spinning or something and she was sweating like a pig but then still smelled so good and it was this so I was like hmm I'm very intrigued and without even smelling it I just ordered it online and I'm so glad I did because it smells so delicious and it's like a thick delicious instant hydration body butter and it just it smells so good all natural ingredients and no harsh chemicals the thing i got was influenced by lolly dolly 128 which i don't think that's her name on youtube anymore but anyway she was talking about how this is like the best dry shampoo dry shampoo she had ever tried this is the amika Peak up dry shampoo. Now let me tell you how hard it was for me to purchase this. I go through dry shampoo like it's going out of style. I love dry shampoo because mama hates to wash her hair. <laughs> That's just the way that it is. And my holy grail dry shampoo, why can I say that word? Dry shampoo is from Batiste and Batiste is like seven bucks. This sucker was like $22. And I think that's pretty ridiculous for a dry shampoo. Like this is so expensive for a dry shampoo, why? Um, when I saw the price, I was like, oh. but she says that it's her favorite dry shampoo or something like that. And it had really, really, really good reviews online. So I'm very, very excited to try this. This Amika dry shampoo better change my life because if not, I'm going to be very upset. 6.73 fluid ounces. And this has 5.3 ounces. Oh, so you're telling me Batiste has more. I could have bought like three Batiste with the price I paid for this, but I'm hoping I'm going in with one, arms wide open and I'm hoping it's good. Okay guys, so that was everything I picked up at the VIB sale from Sephora. Leave me a comment down below on something you picked up with the 15% off and what did you get? Did you like it? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.